Hi everyone, welcome back to Trina's Organic Lifestyle. Today's look is brought to you by none other than my daughter. She did my makeup for me, so I hope it's coming across okay. I normally don't do makeup. But today's video is gonna be in response to Les Farmer 73's audience. So many people on his channel, in the chat room, in the comments are so concerned about how they are able to get started with um, the emergency prep. And it's just a matter of just getting started. Uh, just taking what you think you need or looking it up online or going through YouTube or Googling it. But it's just basically just referring to the basic necessities that it will take to get through an emergency. And so often people in his comments don't know where to start. So even though I did a, a video that I picked up items from Dollar Tree um, for emergency prep for things you might need, please check out that video. I'll try to leave a, uh, a video card or a link below in the description. But I was at the 990 cents store and I thought I would do a few, get a few things that would, um, that you can use in an emergency if you're unable to be able to survive during an emergency. Now, it doesn't take a lot of money. As I stated, one of them was from my previous video, was from the dollar store or Dollar Tree, but a dollar store works, 99 cent store. If you don't have those stores, go to your dollar stores. You'll be amazed what you can find in your dollar stores that you can use in your emergency prep. Food and water and some form of electricity or batteries to operate items. Now, first of all, let's start with some power. A lot of people I know watch Lev Pharma 73 and a lot of other uh, Ask Ive and other uh, YouTube uh, creators, you know, when I first started getting something for power, mine was very basic. I didn't even get a solar generator. I did get the parts for, uh, for solar power. So I had bought the Harbor Freight uh, solar panels. It was the janky ones. I did a video on that as well. So I'll try to leave a card for that. And then I upgraded and, and got a nature's generator, which I've done a video for that as well. And so I'll hopefully I can leave another card up here. Basic, simple, inexpensive way to get inexpensive power. So you're not blowing your budget because I understand so many people don't have the money or the extra income to spend three, five, a thousand dollars on a, a solar generator setup. So as I stated, I had bought the Harbor Freight panels. Uh, beginning of the year, purchase a battery and an inverter. So the Harbor Freight panels, they in my Harbor Freight panels, um, they came with this charge controller and also came in the kit, it came with this light and it plugs into this charge controller, okay? Now, what I had to do in, in addition to the solar panel kit that I received from Harbor Freight is I had to go and buy, I read the instructions, everyone. I read the instructions and it stated what to get. Okay, so it said to get a 300 watt inverter. So that's what I bought. I bought this from, I believe Walmart because Harbor Freight was out. So I bought it from Walmart, 300 watt inverter. And then I had to buy a battery. Now these are all the components to a, a solar generator. Solar generator is a battery. A solar generator has an inverter. These are things that are already built in, but I had it separate. The inverter charge controller. Now I still can use this. I used it in my previous video when the power went out. I used this to power my fan in my bedroom. Okay, will it power a refrigerator? No, it's only 300 watts. USB lights, okay? My charge controller has a USB ports. So I can use the, the USB lights in here as well as the lights that came with my Harbor Freight panels. So I have two sources of lights. Went on Amazon 
and I found this, which is, I found this, which is solar lights. So this is a solar rechargeable light, a solar panel, and it's rechargeable. And then you can carry it around with you. The other ones have cords, so they're stationary, meaning they can't go any further than the, car, the cords that are attached. But this one is portable like a flashlight and rechargeable through solar. That is a basic necessity so that you have lights. There's many options. There's flashlights, there's uh, oil lamps, there's candles. These are things that you put into your emergency kit, okay? And like I stated, what I just showed you as far as the, the solar setup with my inverter, this is a, basics, a basic generator without the housing. If you was to strip a generator down, these are the components you would find. A battery, a charge controller, and an inverter. I have my nature's generator, and I plan on buying the Bouge RV because I do want to do some camping trips and I won't take my nature generator because that's 3,600 watts. That's more for my home. I'm going to get the Bougie solar generator and panels so I can take that on a camping trip. Moving on. Another basic necessity that you add, that you add into your emergency kit and that is some type of container, storage container that you can store water so that you have your potable water. A container is collapsible, and um, this is for drinking. Then you use a different type of uh, storage for water for other items, okay? So put that in your emergency kit. Emergency backpacks. And that's a great place to start in getting putting together your emergency kit. And then you can add to your to that. You can add things like can openers and gloves. There's gloves in it, but extra gloves probably need it. Um, I thought this would be pretty cool because I have my Bouge RV refrigerator freezer, and this is a perfect little ice cube uh, tray that I could put in it, so I'm adding it to my emergency kit. Uh, toilet tissue. Hello, everybody. <laughs> then go to the aisle like in Walmart, Target, any other places, even dollar stores, and you can find travel sizes of different things you need, okay? I found dry shampoo, travel size lotion, travel size uh, body wash. For anybody who wears contacts, contact lens. Um, you know, uh, case, travel ibuprofen, in case you need it. You never know, and it's, it's convenient and small. If also, get yeah, I wear contacts, so um, I have a travel size um, saline solution to go with my travel size toothpaste and deodorant and you know mouthwash and sunscreen. Though don't forget about sunscreen, right? And you know you can take all those items and put them in here, and then put them into your emergency bag. Okay, that's something else. This is how to get started, people. Just do it. Water, recovered power, lights, um, some, you know, toiletry items that you now, need. Now, moving on to food. I was at the 99 cent store and I bought a plethora of things that I found that can be useful for food. For now, food story. I was there and I found these. What is this like? Couscous? Couscous? Can't even see it. Couscous. And pack. Um, they have mashed potatoes. Flavored mashed potatoes. You found. I found this. Uh, I guess some type of dinner mix, cheesy. It's called cheesy tuna. Okay. In an emergency. I need to eat, right? So why would why would I pick up? I, I mean, I would pick up things I would eat. Um, they had rice, okay, flavored rice. Uh, they had the same thing. This was a lasagna. They had cheddar broccoli. I had I found this little cute little pack of jasmine rice. 
and then um, a packaged refried beans. You know, pasta. When you are putting together food, think of things that can go together with other things. You know, so uh, if you have some pasta, maybe you can put in some canned tomato sauce or, you know, spaghetti sauce. That way you would have a quick spaghetti to make in a case of emergency. Um, I'm also, like I said, I'm vegan and I found these soy curls. All I have to do is rehydrate them, season them and cook them and they're good to go. Um, a great little already seasoned garlic salt seasoning together um for my daughter i got her you know a, a tuna salad i thought this would be a great idea as well this is the um chicken bouillon you can make your rice in this you can make it for soups you can use it to flavor uh different things that you're cooking with right I got this for my daughter, which is Alaskan salmon in a pack, pouch. Then, of course, a few canned goods. You should have some fruit because fruit is energy, guys. So have some fruit. And of course, you should have some vegetables, okay? Don't forget to add in some vegetables. You can mix the vegetables in with some of the packaged goods or the pasta with the the uh, spaghetti sauce, something I wouldn't eat, but you know, in a pinch or if my daughter's hungry, raviolis. I mean, you can't go wrong with that, can you? Why not pick up a, a tea sampler? You can drink this cold or hot, people, okay? I also found this at the 99 cent store, chunk chicken. Wow, this, is some great items to add in to food storage for an emergency on top of the state. You know, if you're living in an apartment and you don't have a house as I do and you have a garden outside where you can grow your food, are you supposed to starve? What do you do? This is how you do it. Lead Farmer had took a bucket and went around real quick and just threw some things in a bucket. Also, this is this is a organic quinoa pilaf. I can make meals out of it. And guess what? Then put it in a tub. The tub has a lid. I'm like the guy. Okay. How simple is this? Just to have it, especially if you're in an apartment. Um, you know, this tub is not that big. It's not that bulky to get around. It's quick. You can move everything and it still has room. You can put some more light items in there. I mean, use it for more storage. You have your emergency kit, go to Walmart, Target, go online, go to Amazon. That is your emergency prep. Making sure you have water, making sure you have electricity or some lighting source. And here's another thing. You can use... Um, those sterno, those sterno things that they use for at buffets to heat food until you can afford to buy maybe a propane stove or a butane stove so that you can cook on the inside. On the outside, you have options. You can do barbecue pits. You can do rocket stoves. See, get a carbon monoxide detector. Okay. Again, let me repeat, get a carbon monoxide detector. Uh, detector. Uh, if you're going to use anything like a propane stove or a butane stove on the inside, you do have to worry about it on the inside. But however, even with the sterno can, you still should have everything emergencies. Fire extinguishers, everyone. Don't forget to get fire extinguishers. You can pick those up from your big box stores, Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, Costco. Every oh, fire extinguisher on hand, everyone. This is just inexpensive ways to get started. Just some tips. Just start at your dollar stores. They have so much. And if you cannot go and buy this bag, okay? If you can't afford to buy this bag, go get a backpack, okay? Um, a source of way to cook your food on. 
sometimes you you know you can uh, find things in expensive pots, little metal pots at the dollar store. That's a great thing to put into this container, a pan and a, a pot where you can maybe fry something or cook something and then boil water. Plastic forks and spoons and put those in here with some paper plates, put that in there. Well, that's my rinse dressing on how to get started with uh, emergency supplies because it's better to be prepared and not need it than to need it and not be prepared, everyone. Thanks for watching my channel. Thank you for watching my channel. I just feel for Lead Farmer 73 and he's so patient with everyone. So just take these tips, get started today. If you haven't, get started now. If you live in an apartment, it's very necessary you do. If you live in a home, if you're not gardening, you should be. If you don't have a solar, the solar expensive one starts somewhere. It's better to have something than nothing, everyone. Thanks for watching. Tune back in. Bye now.